So the angiogram is the gold standard for looking at the plumbing of the artery walls. And when we look at the plumbing of the artery walls, it's so important to understand that these arteries are a muscle, not a pipe. And this sounds nice because, hey, I got an angiogram done and I can see where the plumbing problem is. And it's a nice test to at least get done because you can see where the plumbing problem is, but it should not be done on an invasive basis. So let's talk about that. There are CT angiograms and then there are conventional angiograms where they go in through a catheter and they come through the wrist or the groin, they get to the heart and they flush the artery or die. That is very important to do if you're in an emergency and you're having a heart attack or acute coronary syndrome. That's an important test to do because then we can do a heart stent or a bypass surgery very quickly. But if you are wanting to do this angiogram just because you want to know where the plumbing problem is, you might have a family history or chest pain and you just want to know where this plumbing problem is, you don't want to know that. And that's the reason why is because these inside the artery walls is all skin. And if I go in and poke around inside that angiogram, I can do more damage than good. And this is why it should only be done when there's an emergency situation. It shouldn't be done just for investigative purposes. There are other tests that we can do a little bit less invasive, such as a CT angiogram, to see where the plumbing problem is because a heart stent and a bypass surgery is not always a cure, right? And this is where we have to change our mindset a little bit more about going through that side of things. So heart stents and bypass surgeries are not a cure. And this is where I go more in depth to the treatment options that we focus at the HeartFit Clinic so that we can reverse a disease process and prevent that heart attack or stroke. Because this is where I want uh, people to understand it, uh, is that if you did the angiogram and we found a 50% blockage or a 70% blockage or a 30% blockage, I would treat them all the same. And how I treat them the same at the HeartFit Clinic is that we look at the artery like a muscle, not a pipe, and inside the artery wall is all skin and that plaque is built up just like a pimple on your face. If that pimple pops, that is dangerous. That's a heart attack. That's when we want to do that angiogram very quickly. What we want to do at the HeartFit Clinic is strengthen the skin over that plaque or that pimple so it never pops. And more importantly, grow new arteries so that we can feed the arteries with an abundance of, of blood flow. And that's what we do at the HeartFit Clinic to help you with that. So it matters not if you have a 10% blockage, a 30% blockage, or 70% blockage or 100% blockage. When an angiogram should be done, ideally is if you're having a heart attack, so that we can attack the culprit lesion with a heart stent or bypass. Those type of treatment options, now we have, um, it started the COURAGE trial back in the late 2000s, and then in the late uh, teens here, and in mid-teens, we've had the FAME trials and the, uh, the Orbita trials and the ischemia trials that show that heart stent and bypass surgeries are not a cure. And we see this all the time. I've been doing this since 99, and we've seen an abundance of people re-event themselves. So they've had a heart stent or bypass. Heart stents are shown to last maybe five to seven years. We want to increase them longer. Bypass surgeries, we get a little bit longer, maybe seven to 10 years. So what can you do to reverse disease process? This is what we focus on at the HeartFit Clinic.